Greetings and good evenings. I am Lyric and welcome to Wanderous Wandering Wares. Let me tell you, any adventurer or self-loving hoarder worth their salt knows a bag of holding is virtually a necessity. Unless you like tying everything you own to your back. With larger insides than outs, a bag of holding is usually a colorful over-the-shoulder satchel. But frankly, it can be any bag you like if you're willing to buy or find it custom-made. This bountiful bag can hold up to 500 pounds, yet never feels over 15. And if you ever need to empty it, you just flip it inside out. A portable pocket dimension. Think of all the stuff you can carry in these things. Your camping supplies, a couple suits of armor, that old rusty bandage butcher cleaver from your first quest, an arcane focus with draconic runes you found in a kobold lair last week. All manner of bits and baubles. I once ran into a nobleman who completely filled his with silver, chains, daggers, cutlery, all because of a fear of werewolves. And don't even get me started on the bizarre junk you find in an adventurer's bag. This one barbarian had chucked in the top half of a goat as a snack for later. <laughs> I hope you remembered it. Now, do be careful with your magic bag. Keep track of your stuff. If you overload or tear the bag, the item is destroyed, and all your things will scatter into the astral plane, like sand in the wind. Don't put a magic bag into another magic bag, like your tiny haversack, or any other extra-dimensional spaces for that matter, unless you want a one-way trip to the astral plane as well. Oh, and uh, one more thing. There's no air inside the bag of holding, so careful about trying to carry your friends around, hmm?